spent the last couple days coming home from work and just work until it gets dark to clean up the yard and give you guys a quick 48 hour update on the bees on the bees got the fireplace up the other night I was sitting out here having a cold one it's really that early in the morning the lights still on got the yard cleaned up raked down oh yeah here's where we sit Ooh, hold on. I don't have shoes on right now I really should be leaving for work but Actually, you know what? Let's go for a walk up there. Why not? And I'll give you a quick uh, quick rundown of what's going on 48 hours after capturing the swarm. Raspberries. Oh, God damn it. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. So here's the plan. Even though I think I may have two queens in there, it doesn't mean that I'm out of the woods yet. Queen, both queens were likely still virgins on Monday and likely they're both out right now for their uh, their uh, nuptial flight uh, getting a little something something so what I did have to do is I did have to shrink down the hive on the right we're gonna call the original hive hive number one and what you have to do is is cut that because I did lose half the hive on that swarm and that was probably eight or nine thousand bees sitting in that clump because you figure I have 18 panels and uh, 16 and a half or 17 panels were full 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 of bees and there's no less than a thousand bees per panel and I did lose some over the course of going the last couple weeks without a queen I did lose quite a few bees uh, however when you lose half your hive like that now your hive number one for example is too big for the remaining population so that'll stress them out. They can't control their temperature. They can't control their security that well because there's a lot of areas that, uh, that their enemies could get into. So I had to shrink that down. Now, what I did for hive number two, which is the hive on the left, yesterday when I got home from work, uh, in the middle of cleaning out the yard, I built an inner hive cover and the telescoping hive cover, which is what you see on the top there and I took the top box that was on hive number one and slid it over to hive number two. What I did then was I took frames out of this hive, hive number one, shook all the bees off of them, well 99% of the bees off of them, and kind of divvied them up. The honey panels, the brood panels, and I put half of the good you know I put brood panels and honey panels here I put half the brood panels and honey panels here and what that does is that'll give these guys the swarmed bees hive number two that'll give them a head start if they have to start a hive from absolute scratch and here we are in the second week of August um, it'd be a tough winter for them just because they don't have enough food storage but I figure since you know you figure since you have to shrink the hive number one anyway because you have half the population you have to do something with those panels. Now I could have taken those honey panels and eaten them for myself, uh, but then I would have screwed, kind of screwed up these guys, the swarmed ones. It's not their fault they swarmed, they're just doing what they do. There's the hawk looking for some breakfast. Uh, so anyhow, that, that's what I did, is, is I split up the panels, I shook loose the bees from hive number one and kept them in hive number one. Just in case the, the Virgin Queen was still in there, I didn't want her getting shaken and put into hive number two and then have another swarm because now we have two bees in there. And, uh, and we're definitely not out of the woods. There's definitely the possibility that one or both of these hives could fail. I'll know more in the next couple weeks until I start seeing some fresh eggs, some fresh brood being produced. I won't, I won't know for sure that either one of these two hives have um, have succeeded and if for example if maybe hive number one succeeds and hive number two doesn't get a laying queen or she doesn't come back from her nuptial flight I can always merge these two together in into one hive to get me through the winter and then I'll worry about splitting hives in the spring um, but you know that's that's doom and gloom thinking and I don't want to think that way I want to think the best case scenario best case scenario is I have two queens I'll have two remotely healthy and well populated well supplied hives to get me through the winter and then we have fun in the spring and as I mentioned before my ultimate goal would be to have three maybe four hives I could fit four hives on this stand but I don't know if I want to 
I don't know. I don't want to fall in the same trap I did last time I did keep hives. Uh, I figured if one is good, then, you know, 26 is better. And then it just became too time consuming. So I want to keep it to a, a number that I can manage, which will be probably three or four. So, but it is nature. So we're taking it one hive at a time. We're just going to make sure we have a laying queen. It'll be probably seven days six or seven days from today you figure that usually her flight to get mated lasts about four days four or five days and then she's got to come back and start uh, cranking out some egg production so at this point i'm just looking for fresh brood she's gonna be very very difficult to see pick out of a crowd although her movements are significantly different she she moves around the hive significantly different than the workers but maybe i'll do a video on that if i can get the hd thing close enough to where or uh, zoomed in enough to where you can see how her movements are is really how you find her this young um, not so much her physical characteristics so there they are there they are we'll uh, we'll see how she goes I didn't even make a screen board yet I may be able to do that this weekend but I just didn't have enough time before dark last night between cleaning the yard and, and splitting these hives it takes a while to uh, manage all this stuff so little bit at a time we'll get her done thanks for watching i appreciate your guys interest and concern uh this is a lot of fun it really is a lot of fun i gotta run i gotta go to work see ya